G'day, today we're going to look at a great little trick for doing subtraction. So let's have a look at the example here. Uh, we're going to start with this one here, 3000, and from this we're going to subtract 1349. Now this type of question you should be able to do instantly. And in a second, if you don't know how to do this, I'm going to show you how to do it. But what about you give it a go, give it three seconds, got it yet? Well, the answer is 1600 and 51. And if you got that answer, congratulations, that's the correct answer. But if you didn't, right now I'm going to show you how to do this. And I'll tell you what, it's not going to be that hard because you're already probably doing it with your subtraction a little bit and maybe not thinking about it. So the way we do this is as follows. Uh, we're going to be moving left to right, like I said. Now, we start with our 3 here and we're going to reduce it by 1. It becomes a 2. So 2 take away 1 equals 1, the first part of our answer. The next part is we have all these zeros here. For all the zeros except for the last one, we turn them into 9s. A 9, a 9, and the last one we turn into a 10. And we do our subtraction. So 9 take away 3 is 6, 9 take away 4 is 5, 10 take away 9 equals 1. And there you go, we've got our answer, absolutely no fuss. Pretty cool, right? Now, you're probably already doing this maybe a little bit when you were doing subtraction, but maybe not thinking about this method as you do it. But it's pretty simple. We're really just going 2,990 with a little 10 on the end. So what about another example? What about we give a go to 12,000, and from this, we're going to subtract 7,864. Give it a go and see how you go. By the way, if you like this trick, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. And please leave a comment. I'll tell you why we always beg for this, by the way. Uh, the more we beg for these comments and for these uh, likes and that sort of thing, the better our videos go. So if you want to support my channel, please leave a comment, leave a like. It's really, really appreciated. But let's go through this answer right now. So we're going to start with our 12,000 and we're going to be subtracting 7,864. So the first thing we're going to do is get this entire 12 and reduce it to become an 11. 11 take away 7 equals 4. And these all become 9s. 9, 9 and 10. 9 take away 8 is equal to 1. 9 take away 6 is equal to 3. And 10 take away 4 is equal to to six. There you have it. We have our answer, 4,136. Pretty cool, right? All right, now I'm going to give you three of these that you can try and see how you go. See if you can get three for three. So let's start out nice and easy. We'll say 6,000, and from this we're going to subtract 2,341. Get a bit harder now. We'll go a bit of a bigger number. Let's go 18,000, and from this we will subtract, uh, let's go 12,169. And then finally, get even bigger still, let's go 23,000, and from this we're going to subtract 1,365. Cool. So what about you try to do these right now? Maybe pause the video, see how you go, write your answers down. But now we're going to go through and check. And once again, before we get to that, I am going to ask for a comment, for a like, for a subscription. Maybe you could think about commenting on what video that you'd like to see coming up. That would actually be pretty awesome. I do run out of ideas. So let's have a bit of a look here. Uh, so we have 6,000 and we're going to subtract 2,341. So the 6 becomes a 5. We get a 3. This is a 9. We get a 6. This is a 9. We get a 5. And this is a 10. We get a 9. Our answer, 3,659. Uh, next, we're going to treat this like 17 subtract 12. 17 subtract 12 is 5. Uh, 9 take away 1 is 8. 9 take away 6 is 3. And 10 take away 9 is 1. Hopefully, you're getting them this quickly, right? Last question. They haven't really got much harder, have they? Last question, right? What about we do 23,000 minus 1,365? So we're going to start by calling this 22. Minus 1 is 21. Then we have 9 take away 3 is 6. 9 take away 6 is 3. And 10 take away 5 is 5. Man, that's not much harder either. There you go. That's a nice, easy trick for doing subtraction. And it's one that you're probably already well aware of, like I said. But then you just realize you don't need to go along, draw it out, and start doing all the borrowing that you do when you do these sort of subtraction tricks. So anyway, if you like this particular trick for the third and final time, please hit the like button and subscribe. And please, please, 
leave me something nice that you're going to say. A big shout out to my patrons and subscribers. If you wish to support the Tech Math channel, because I meant the shameless self-promotion it seems in this video, please consider becoming a patron. There is a link in the description to show you how to do that, and it's always greatly appreciated. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.